Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to unlock your bootloader on your LG G3. Finally, uh, you can do this. I know a lot of people have been waiting, so if you have any variant other than the T-Mobile one, the T-Mobile one I believe comes unlocked, but uh, any other variant, your bootloader is locked, so you can install a custom recovery. Flashing ROMs isn't a possibility, but now it is. Uh, it's called the Bump, courtesy of the Cubed, Illegal Argument, Auto Prime, Shell Nut 2, Animatronic, Repti Rep Rocket, Reptile, and D's Choice. So shout out to those guys. Please go thank them. I'll uh, post all the links in the description. Uh, you will need to be rooted, so that's the first step of the process. Root your device, and I have a video on showing you how to do so. I will link to that in the description of the video as well. Now the next step, after you've rooted, go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, go to software information, and then quickly tap build number seven times until it says you are now a developer. Then go ahead and go back, back again, and you'll see developer options in your settings. So go ahead and select developer options and make sure to check USB debugging right there. So make sure that box is checked. Once you've done that, you need to go ahead and go to your PC and install the uh, Android SDK and ADB on your computer. I have a tutorial video showing you how to do that. I will link to that in the description of the video as well if you have not done so already. So go ahead and install uh, SDK tools and ADB on your computer. Once you've done that, we're ready to go. Go ahead and grab your micro USB cable which is plugged into your computer and plug it into your LG G3. This is a Sprint variant in case you were wondering um, that I have right here. And now, once you've plugged it in, you need to make sure that it is M says MTP. Not PTP, not charge phone. MTP needs to be checked. Now, we can go ahead and what you're going to need to do now is download a specific file. I will link to it in the description of the video. So click that link, that download link in the description. All right, the download is going to look uh, very similar to this screen right here. And you'll notice there's different variants. I will, uh, on my website, at the link in the description that you went to, I'll post what each one stands for. But... Uh, like I said, LS990 is the Sprint variant, so that's why I have that one downloaded. So download your device-specific image file. Very important. Do not mess that up. Okay, once you have the file downloaded, you need to go ahead and click and drag it to the internal SD card on your G3. So make sure it's on the internal storage and not external storage. So go to your G3, internal storage, and make sure that image file is on your internal storage. So you'll see mine is right there. So... Once you have that uh, Twerp 2.8.0.0 LS990, not necessarily LS990, again, make sure that uh, is your phone variant, your phone model. Uh, just want to make sure that you got that right. All right, once this is on your internal storage, go ahead and go and find that Android SDK folder that you have on your computer. Click on it, and then double click on Platform Tools. Hold the Shift key on your keyboard, make sure you hold it, and then right click outside the, the box here. And then there should be an option, oh, I'll do it a little higher up, sorry about that guys. Hold shift, right click, and open command window here is going to come up and it's gonna open a command prompt. Again, this is going to void your warranty. Keep that in mind, you will not have a warranty on your LG G3 through LG if you follow this tutorial. All right, so the first thing I want you to type in is ADB space devices, like I have. And if it doesn't come up with a bunch of letters and numbers, that means your computer does not recognize your device. What you're going to need to do is unplug the device, install the drivers, the LG drivers. I'll link to them in the description. And then uh, once you have those installed, you can go ahead and plug your phone back in. Also, once you have the drivers installed, this screen is going to pop up on your phone. Allow USB debugging. I'm going to check Always Allow from this computer and hit OK. So now you need to make sure you check that. <laughs> Anyways, once you've done that, once you've installed the drivers like I have, I can type ADB devices again. And what do you know? It lets me know what device I have attached. All right, once your computer recognizes your device, you're going to need to type in a few commands. First of all, type in ADB space shell and hit enter. You'll see a little money symbol right there. Type SU and uh, press enter. So you'll see it says SU. I believe there should be a... Um, okay, on your device, again, grab it. I was wondering because uh, on your device, you need to go ahead and grant it super user permissions like so. So there you go. So make sure you grant it super user permissions on your phone as well. Um, now you'll see in the command prompt a little... Uh, I guess you could say hashtag, but a pound sign shows up right there. Uh, now, once you've done that, you're ready to go. Uh, you're going to need to copy a command. I don't recommend just typing it out because you can make simple mistakes. Uh, right click up at the top of your command prompt, uh, hit edit and hit paste. And it's going to type in this for you. I, like I said, I'm going to um, post, I guess, what you need to type in in my article. So make sure you copy this first thing exactly the same. So make sure you copy that um, and press enter. 
and uh, it's going to run through. And once this pound sign shows up once more, we're going to need to type in one more command, but it's imperative that you type this in correctly, so pay close attention. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, copy the next line. Um, I have them on the computer right here. I copied it. I'm going to hit edit and paste it. So copy, paste, but this needs to change right here. So I'm going to use my arrow keys and go back to, you'll see where it says change me. That's where your file name is different. So you need to pay attention. Let me open this back up. Uh, go back to my LG G3, my internal storage, and you'll see whatever the name of that file was. So in my case, it is LS990. So that's what I need to put in for change me. So again, it's different depending on your device. Mine's LS990. So I'm going to change change me to LS990 because that's the name of my file. And if you type it incorrectly, it's probably it'll come back with an error because it won't be able to find the file. So I'm going to type in LS990. There you go. So uh, after the underscore at the 8 is where uh, you need to type in whatever it is. And make sure you uh, delete the change me. So now we are, should be ready to go. I'm going to press enter. And it's going to, I believe, have some fail error message or something at the end. Oh, it looks like it didn't. They must have, uh, they must have fixed that, actually. So uh, let's go. I think that's it. Yeah, that's the only command you need to do, and you're done. So let lets you know that it was transferred. Both of the files were transferred. Everything's good to go. So now we can actually unplug our LG G3, and we don't need our computer anymore after that. So just type in those uh, simple command prompts like so. Unplug your device. All right, so now power off your device. Um, I just want to make a note that, I mean, in case anything goes wrong, obviously I'm not responsible for you to do this on your own, uh, at your own will, etc. Um, you should back up your contacts and apps just to be safe. Um, if you would like to, this should not erase anything um, if you type in those command prompts correctly. So keep that in mind. So once this is powered off, you need to actually hold volume down and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those. Once the LG logo uh, lights up, you need to go ahead and with the volume down button still held, release the power button and then press it again. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and then continue holding both of them. So I'm gonna press both at the same time, volume down and power until this screen lights up. I'm gonna let go of the power button and press it again. And then keep holding until I believe another screen should show up. Uh, looks like I missed it. So I'm gonna try it again. This might happen for you. So again, to show you the steps, volume down and power at the exact same time. Once the LG screen lights up, let go of the power button and press it again. All right, my phone is powered off again. Um, for some, it might be different for different devices, but with the Sprint variant, all you have to do is press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. You don't need to release the power button. Um, you might need to on other variants, but I'm just gonna press and hold volume down and power at the same time. Keep it held down. Don't let go of the power button once the LG screen lights up. Uh, just try, play around with it until it gets you into this recovery mode. Um, apparently on my device, it didn't do this, but um, if it might show up a factory reset screen. If it does that, um, if you have bump installed correctly, you don't have to worry. It's not going to factory you reset your device, but you do need to uh, press volume down the power button to confirm it and confirm the factory reset. If you have bump installed, again, it's not going to do anything to your data, so you don't have to worry about it. But on this var on the Sprint variant, apparently it goes directly into recovery, so there you have it. That's it. That's all you have to do to get into recovery. You now have twerp. You can make an Android backup if you want to. I can swipe to back up my uh, ROM. And also, if you want to flash ROMs, you need to make sure that it is compatible with Twerp 2.8.0.0, make sure the ROM developer says, yeah, if you unlock your bootloader with Bump, this ROM's gonna work. So that's a, a key thing to note. But now you can make an Android backups, restore them, install custom ROMs, there you go, um, and it's fully working Twerp, so awesome. That's it, your bootloader's unlocked and you have a custom recovery installed. You can uh, now have fun with your LG G3. So there you go, uh, let me know what you think. Um, hopefully this video worked. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will uh, do my best to help you guys out. Um, you can subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate that. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.